In this tutorial in Microsoft Word, I'd like to show you how to insert images or pictures into your text. Uh, sometimes we think we have to be in Publisher or a program like InDesign to bring in images, but that's not true. There are some great things that Word can do all by itself. In order to insert a picture, I click on the Insert tab at the top, and then I will click on Pictures. Now we'll take a picture. I click on my picture and click insert, or I could have simply double clicked on the picture and had the same result. And now it brings it in. It takes the picture and it resizes it to the maximum width of the page. Uh, it allows me also to resize the, the picture by clicking on one of the four corners. Now the corner resizing is the best because that keeps my proportions. If I were to resize on either the side handle or the top handle, I would actually distort the picture. So I'm going to take and make it smaller so that we can do some fun things with it here. Uh, there. I'll make it a little smaller yet. There we go. Okay, now why did it put it here? Well, when I, before I inserted it, I had my cursor after section 1. And so now I have to decide where do I want this. You notice this little icon here. This is the icon on wrapping text. In my Format tab, it's the same as if I clicked up here in the Wrap Text. The default, as you can see, is in line with text. Now what does that mean? Uh, to put it simply, it means that it will treat this entire picture like one letter, a big fat letter. And so if I click on the picture with the, and I get the four arrows, and I drag it anywhere I want, let's put it at the end of this first sentence, it will move it like it's a single letter. And if I take it and move it down in front of section 2, number 1, there it is. It's like, it, just imagine this is a big fat A or B or C. So it defaults to putting the, the image in like that. So when you want to think of where I want my image, you can just imagine it being one big huge letter. And there it will go. Oftentimes that works, but that's not the, the kind of um, of way we want our, our image to look on the page. So we have this option called wrapping text, which we can click to here or we can click to down here. Let me show you a couple of the options I use the most. When I click on wrap text, one option is square. So I'll click on square and you notice what happens is now my text flows around my image. And I can resize the image or I can, I can move the image, and I get a little bit of a, a sense of positioning it on the page. Square is really nice. Another option under wrap text is called tight. It's like square, only it's a little bit closer to the image. Sometimes if you don't want, want to make sure you have no text to the left or right of your image, Another one that you will pick that I use a lot is top and bottom. Now with top and bottom, you notice that there is nothing above the text, nothing below the, or there's nothing to the left or the right of the text. And I can move it over here and I see my double green line and I know it's centered on the page. And now I have, I move it above that paragraph and now it's an image all by itself. But for the best look, most of the time, I like either square or tight. And then I can move it to the left to the, or to the right. And I, f I tend to find in Word, pictures look better either right margin or left margin. But you can get some nice flow. And I can go ahead into this paragraph. I can insert another picture. I'll take this uh, little one of the garden. And we'll move it up. We'll put it in front of section two, or we can put it over the left here. And then I'll go, I'll wrap it again, I'll go square, and there we go. So you can make a nice looking image with your picture. There's some other things that we can do with pictures that we'll deal with in the subsequent lesson, but this is basically how to drag, resize, drop, and wrap text around a picture, all in Microsoft Word. 
In this tutorial, you have learned about how to take an image and insert it into a Word document, how to resize the image, and also how to take that text around the image and flow it in one of several major ways. We hope you found this lesson useful, and we have a subsequent one that will show you more things you can do with images inside of Word. If you like our tutorials, we would like to ask you to like us and become a subscriber to our YouTube channel. We also would like your comments so that we can design future lessons that will help you solve problems you face when you're using Microsoft Word. For the Sharper Turtle, thank you very much.